Disclaimer before this video begins. I do not by any means say that this game or mod or whatever sucks. Whatever that you take from this, understand that this mod is something I've been waiting years for and that I really want it to succeed and I want it to be perfect. This is only a constructive criticism. If this does manage to reach the Skyrim Together team, I want you all to know that this is amazing and what you've done is absolutely impressive. I do not want you to take this the wrong way. Take this all constructively as possible and take whatever you can from this video and just put it towards making it better. Because you have my money regardless. I'm already donating to you guys. I want to see it succeed now. Thank you. Well guys, after a very, very long time, Skyrim Together is out. At least in beta form. This is a review for the beta. This is not the final review. I will do another review once the beta is finished. Yes, after finally going through all of the nonsense of actually getting my account approved for the beta after proving that I have donated, which, mind you, was a very, very big issue on both the creators and mostly Patreon. I don't think it was the creators' fault. They made a whole new website, which is impressive. And, I don't know, I just feel like they've done a very good job with it so far, but there's just been a lot of hurdles to get over since the beginning. So yes, getting into the beta was kind of a hassle, but that's just what happens sometimes, especially when you're going with new stuff and with a team of small developers, which is completely understandable. I by no means am very upset with anything. I may have been a little frustrated with some stuff, but by no means am I disappointed or angry with anybody. In fact, my respects go to the Skyrim Together team for actually managing to fix their mistake by manually going through messages and approving all the people that they could prove have donated to them and rightfully deserve to get into the beta. So after this little hiccup, I suppose you can say, me and my friends actually managed to get into the beta. Now, every one of us except one of us had managed to actually have issues getting in, but like I said, the Skyrim Together team had fixed it. My experience with the beta was, to say the very least, interesting. It works very well. I was actually enjoying myself very thoroughly for points, especially at the beginning. But as you go into it, I suppose you can say, it kind of begins to unravel, I suppose. <laughs> She's naked for Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> now yes, I know, it's a beta. I completely understand, this is the whole reason I'm not upset, this is only the early access. I do not expect it to be a flawless product. I am just merely pointing out that there were some issues. For example, we were having issues getting connected to one another, we constantly dealt with crashes, there were a lot of... Very interesting bugs that kind of made us laugh just a little bit. And you're disconnected. Something just broke. <laughs> you, oh. Uh, I'm going back in. So I said it could be better. I mean, it's in beta right now, so that's good. There is a lot of issues. I think it was a woman and, um, just, uh, you know, the effect. Who is... Wait, that, is this you, or... Who's that? What, who you Wait, no, stand right next to it. Stand, like, right here. Stand right here. There are two versions of you. Two alternate realities, where one of you is a warrior with armor on, and you with the mage thing. You're hitting him! But at the end of the day, I wouldn't say our time was wasted. We actually did enjoy ourselves quite a bit. In fact, we enjoyed ourselves so much that me and my other friend are actually going to try again later today and I might end up streaming the whole thing if it's, you know, wor if I feel it's worth streaming. I guess the whole point of this review is to tell you whether I think Skyrim Together is actually worth investing into right now as a beta. If you were to look at the game right now, I'd say it's a little bit of a mess to get through. Now I've seen different results vary from person to person, it might be a product of the time that I'm trying to play it. But who knows, maybe it's just normally like this. I don't entirely know honestly. All I know is that my experience with it so far was a little bug ridden and kind of broken I suppose you can say. Was it enjoyable? Do I want to give it more chances? Absolutely. I know this mod has been in development for a very long time that the developers have worked very hard on it. This is not Bethesda level teams, this is a very small, small group of people who have worked effortlessly on this and I really really hope that it continues to grow and that they continue to polish their work because this so far 
is groundbreaking in my opinion. Making Skyrim multiplayer was not an easy task, I'm sure, and I'm sure that all the servers that they've managed to actually make are not cheap and easy to keep running. I actually feel like I want to keep just donating to this team in an effort to see it grow and just become more and more polished and more and more stable as time goes on. And I hope that you guys can do the same. If you have not donated to their Patreon to get into the beta, I recommend doing it now. Now is the time to donate it because now is the time they need the stuff so they can get together and work on it more. Also, just to warn you, I wanted to let you all know that in order to get into the beta, you will require uh, Skyrim Special Edition. They do not support Skyrim Legendary Edition or the regular version at the moment. If you do have them, do not worry. Uh, they will be eventually supporting you by the time of full release. They are just working on that right now. I have to say that it's completely understandable that they are only working with one of the most stable versions right now, as is probably the easiest one to work with and they will transition over into the less stable and older version as time goes on. Also, getting access to the beta is really easy, as well as starting up the game. In order to access the beta, you have to at least donate $1 right now to their Patreon. The issue right now is that Patreon seems to be having some issues, but if it's actually up and running by the time you're viewing this video, go to Patreon, subscribe to their Patreon, subscribe $1 to them a month. Once you do that, you can form a Skyrim Together profile, make sure that you register through their account properly, Try to link the two accounts. If you can't, I'm sure someone from the Together team is either trying to fix it or can help manage and approve your account for the beta. Uh, at the moment as well, you will need to make sure you have Skyrim Together installed properly through their Launcher Harbor. You can find a link on their account under one of the forums underneath the main page. It should be the picture of the Imperial and Stormcloak clashing together. Under there is where you can also find a link to their Patreon if you're having issues trying to find their Patreon page. After making sure you have Harbor installed, you make sure you log in using your Skyrim Together account that you created on their website. After they are linked with Patreon, you should be able to access the beta. Like I said, there might be some issues. If it is saying you do not have access to the beta, then you will need to contact someone about getting your account approved, or you might have to wait until Patreon fixes their issues. Now at this point, when you go to install Skyrim Together through Harbor, you want to make sure that your Skyrim has Skyrim Script Extender. I will link a video down in the description that is very good for guiding you on how to install it, but make sure that you have it installed or you will not be able to access it. Once everything is installed and properly updated and everything, once you have access to everything and proper, and you are able to actually load up through Harbor, you will make sure that your game starts up properly, make sure you have a fresh clean character at the beginning so that you and your friends can get together, and make sure that you are able to properly invite them to a party. The way that you are able to open the menus to invite anybody is the right control key. Once your friends have accepted your invitation and are now a part of your party, Make sure you click the little button underneath their names that says something along the lines of form party or form session. This will put you all in the same session and you should be able to play together. Everything beyond this point is pretty self-explanatory and you should be able to take the wheel from here. Well guys, that's it. That's everything you should need to know right now about the Skyrim Together beta. If you have access to it and you don't know what to do, I hope the little guide at the end here helped you. And I hope that the Skyrim Together team actually gets to see this. I'm going to try and send it to them. If not, uh, at least it may help you guys out. I want you guys all to know that Skyrim Together is a very groundbreaking beta. It is something that we actually wanted from the beginning from things like Fallout 76 and Elder Scrolls Online. Right now, all we ever wanted was just co-op with our friends, and this mod is allowing us to do that. Whether or not it works properly at the moment is irrelevant, it just matters that by the time of full release that it works properly. If you want to see it improve, consider checking it out and donating to their Patreon to get early access to the beta. You and your friends get an early access to the beta, and you are also supporting them in an effort to make sure that the mod comes out proper at the end there. And with that, I am going to leave it off here. I appreciate it if you watched this far into the video, and I hope that you all consider checking out Skyrim together. It is very good. I have to say I recommend it to anybody right now. Even though it is a little bit of a mess, I know it will improve. If again, the Skyrim together team have actually managed to view this video, keep up the good work. This mod, I feel it needs to succeed. It is something that we've all wanted from Skyrim, let's all admit it, we've all looked up at one point Skyrim multiplayer when we were younger when it first came out, and I really feel like it's just an opportunity for us to get something that we've always wanted, and also to send a message to Bethesda that maybe the thing we want isn't major multiplayer, but more co-op experience when it comes to multiplayer. But like I've already said, thank you all for watching. Say it with me now, play well, eat well, and live well, friends. I hope you all go out there and strive to break infinity.